Hello again. Going to do an inspection on my late season swarm capture. It's November 3rd and a clear sky, warm 80 degree day here in Southern California, Southwest Riverside County. My bees have been increasing in numbers greatly and have been really taking the one to one sugar syrup to the point of having to fill it daily. I believe it is currently empty and the bees have entered into the rapid round. So I'll need to rectify that. That's why I suited up. So I think I will uh, reposition the camera just a bit here so and see what's going on. And since I have to take the inner, don't have to take the inner cover off, but I'm going to. And we'll let the bees out that are trapped in the upper part of this feeder, as you can now see. I will refill it after I take the cover off and have a look-see down in the hive as to how they're doing. So that looks good. Smashed a few here in the last inspection, unfortunately, so I will be more careful, as was pointed out on earlier comments, comments on earlier videos I posted. I'll give them a little bit of smoke, although they do seem to be pretty calm today. Yesterday they were a little spicy, so I was not able to refill the feeder. So let them calm a little bit there and, and see how they're doing. Look at that. Looking good, huh? I do want to take this burr comb off of the bottom of the feeder. I meant to do that last inspection, but did not. So there, that's off. I'll put that in my stash that I'm saving. Now they're joining the frames together. As you can see, they're crossed across all the flames. I was uh, a little concerned about whether the, they would take to the frames or not, and they have, but in their own way. I'm just going to pop an outer frame here to see if they had done any work on it. It was very minimal two weeks ago. Hadn't really done much. Here's the beetle trap. It has a beetle in it. And I just squished him because there's no, no juice in there. and I didn't bring any to refill it. My bad. So let's have a look at this outer frame. They 
we are starting to draw it out. Not much more than had been done two weeks ago. But there's a little bit of increased activity on it. Heavy, heavy frame here. Very heavy frame here. Look at that. Full of honey. Fully capped over honey. One complete frame. Unreal. Let's see how this one not quite as heavy as the last ring. Good bird pattern. I don't see the queen. Yet. This is my wonky frame. I don't know if that's a queen cell popping out there yet or not. I don't think so. Looking good. And this is where I would anticipate seeing the queen. If we're going to see her. Super good brood pattern. Another super good brood pattern. I don't see her. Things are going good. Numbers are going good. I'm going to skip over the rest of the inner frames and have a look at this outside one on the far side. I don't see any beetle there. I do want to pull that outer frame, see if they've done any work on it. It's feeling heavy so far. Nah, not very heavy. Starting to draw it somewhat in a wonky fashion again. Starting to draw on this side. One more look. Getting a little excited, but not terribly so. Heavy frame. Heavy, heavy frame. Good bird pattern. Good pattern. Good honey. Good cap bird. Still looking good. No queen cells. So there's still some room. Not a lot, but there's still some room. All right, girls. 
That's enough. I see what I wanted to see. I'm not going to put an extra box on just yet. There's uh, still room for her to lay. She is still laying. So I'm going to leave it be. Tighten things up here. Center them. And call it good. Well, you know what? Okay, we're back full again. Look out now. And it is empty. It's good. I'm not going to put the I mentioned earlier. I'm going to leave them alone the where they are. There's still room in there for them. Her delay. Not a problem. And we will call it a day. Thank you for joining in. That was a quick one. If you are interested and want to follow my journey, Please click subscribe and uh, check on the notification button as well if you want to be notified when I put a new video up. Until the next time, have a good one. Thank you.